Every year, researchers at IBM come up with a list of five ideas they believe will change your life in the five years ahead. It's called Five in Five, and here with this year's predictions, Bernie Meyerson, Vice President of Innovation for IBM. Bernie, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with number one. And the first is that you're actually predicting a resurgence of brick and mortar stores. Why? Yay. Bottom line, you know, you walk in, you want to buy a camera that's thousand dollars. You really would like to have a feel for this. If you think about the convenience online, people point to it the right thing, you click, you say, I like these, they point to more of those things. Imagine walking into a store that had the same capabilities. It knew your persona, it knows what you like, it actually directs you to the place where those cameras are located as somebody meets you there. And if you like it, you press a button, it identifies you maybe from a fingerprint and you go out the door, they hand you the camera. There's a middle point, the convergence between the convenience of the online and the need for tactile interaction and that's with coming. something like that. Okay. It's that's coming. what Apple does very well. Yeah. Exactly. They do it very well. Innovation number two, your doctor's using your own DNA to help you. Right now, the best you can do is law of averages. You try to get it right. Imagine being able to specifically look at somebody's DNA and say, wait a minute, I know you've got leukemia, but in fact, the defect in your DNA is more similar to what people who have, for instance, kidney cancer. So instead of treating you with the classic drugs for leukemia, they treat you with the kidney cancer drugs and you go into remission. That's a real case. There's a physician which actually, that's what happened. And that kind of customization, because of the understanding of your, knowledge, of your basic makeup from your DMA, that will happen. Another prediction on your list is the emergence of the digital guardian. What is that? All of these things rely on what we call big data, really understanding you through collecting vast amounts of data. You want it protected. Yeah. And the digital guardian is basically something that runs around incessantly on your behalf, making sure your data remains private and the people using it are only those who authorized, essentially through your agreement, its use. You, 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 the theme of this year's list is in the future everything will learn and that particularly applies to the classroom you say? It's vital. Teachers have an incredibly difficult job. You sit there, you've got 30, 35 kids you've never met before at the beginning of the year. Do you really want to lose half a year to some poor child who has a mild case of dyslexia because you didn't know? You want to have a persona built for that child from the first day they walk into school so that you can make sure that child gets what they need, when they need it, and it assists the teacher in knowing that for this large group of students where otherwise it could take half a year or a whole year to understand them. Mm -hmm. And you see no more traffic jams, possibly. Smarter cities. The key is cities should adapt to you, not the other way around. And in the best of all worlds, it's not really about predicting the future. It's about changing it for the better. Whether that means understanding that if I see this mix of traffic, I'm going to get a traffic jam in 20 minutes. So my traffic report isn't, hey, you're going to Thank be stuck. You. My traffic report is, we fixed it. You won't be stuck. Don't worry about it. Thank I you. Mean, five for five. We'll see how you do.